I've come to think of videos like this as my broccoli videos. It's the stuff that's on your plate that you know you should eat because they say it's healthy, but if you're being honest, it's not what your heart desires. Today's piece of broccoli is this. Every day we're inching closer to a new ice age in Europe because of the collapse of an ocean circulation that's keeping us warm. There are now multiple lines of new evidence saying that this is closer than we expected. Yes, I'm talking about the Atlantic Meridional Overturning Circulation, AMOC for short. That's a current in the Atlantic Ocean which transports warm water from the equator towards the poles. This keeps the water in the North Atlantic warm and that warms up the air. It's the major reason why temperatures in Middle and Northern Europe are so mild. If the AMOC were to stop, temperatures in this part of the world would significantly drop up to 5 or even 10 degrees Celsius on average. In case you quite like the idea that my mouth will freeze shut, it's not a solely European problem. It is globally shift precipitation patterns leading, among other things, to higher temperatures near the equator and more rain in Australia. Probably because no one really knows what it happened. What we do know is that a lot of plants and animals would suddenly find themselves in the wrong climate zones. How high is the risk? Well, in its latest report on the matter, the IPCC concluded that the AMOC will very likely weaken over the 21st century with high confidence, although a collapse is very unlikely with medium confidence. I don't know what that means either, but I believe it means that the average probability for the collapse is small, say 10%, but it has a large spread, so it could be anything between 0 and 50% or such. I wish they would just write down numbers rather than this word salad. In any case, that was in 2019. And since then, evidence has piled up that not all is well with the AMOC. One piece of evidence comes from a 2023 paper that looked at temperature fluctuations in the Atlantic Ocean. The idea is that if the AMOC gets closer to collapsing, deviations from the average temperature get more extreme and they show correlations between each other. This is a general behavior of systems near a critical point, which has also been observed, for example, in stock markets close to a crash or in Bose-Einstein condensates near the critical temperature and so on. Fascinating stuff. In any case, the authors find that the AMOC is getting nearer to its critical point and they estimate a collapse of the AMOC to occur around mid-century under the current scenario of future emissions. Another line of evidence is to check whether the conditions for a healthy AMOC are fulfilled. Spoiler alert, they aren't. The AMOC only works if the surface water in the north has a high enough salt content. If the salt content is too low, the water isn't heavy enough to sink down and close the AMOC circulation. But most of the ice in the Arctic and Greenland came from rain or snow. It's fresh water. Now that it's melting, it dilutes the salt content of the water that makes the AMOC less efficient. The salt content of the water is measurable and we know it's dropping. A paper that appeared last year says that the climate models which the IPCC has used for its risk assessment of the AMOC collapse don't take this into account properly. And finally, a recent reassessment of the AMOC collapse predictions that I have to warn you, has not yet been peer-reviewed, found that, quote, the circulation collapses in all IPCC class climate models in the high emission scenarios and even in some moderate and low scenarios, despite the neglect of increasing Greenland meltwater influx. In most cases, the collapse is initiated by a breakdown of deep convection already early in this century. We conclude that a collapse of the AMOC can't be considered a low probability event anymore. What it happen if the AMOC shuts down? It would move the flow of warm water and warm air further south. This would mean more cold air in middle and northern Europe and more heat waves in southern Europe. 
The full consequences would need decades to play out, but the models predict that temperatures in northern Europe could drop as much as 10 degrees on average. Somewhat coincidentally, Germany is about in a range where the temperature drop from the AMOC collapse might just about average out with the expected 3 to 5 degree increase from climate change. However, this is just the average. We'd probably get more cold and heat extremes. It doesn't average out, just like if you get punched in the head from both sides at once, that doesn't average out to no punch. What all this means is that Europe is inching closer to a new ice age with every ton of carbon dioxide that we pump into the air. Yes, I'm taking some creative freedom with the word Ice Age, which is normally used to refer to a global event and not a regional one. But I think it's an apt description. And also, you see, it's always good to give other people an opportunity to complain. It keeps the blood flowing. If you're not a fan of broccoli but enjoy something more tasty, I suggest you have a look at my friends from Planet Wild. They have the most gorgeous and uplifting stories about how we can save our planet. Planet Wild is a community-funded nature protection group. They go on a new mission each month to restore store ecosystems and change the world for the better. Whether it's planting trees, reintroducing animals to forests where they once thrived, or using drones to study blue whales, Planet Wild is making a real difference for nature preservation. And your money doesn't just disappear in a black hole. They document all their missions with videos on YouTube and on their app. I've already joined them and I hope you'll too. In one of their new missions, they travel to Vietnam to help pangolins, one of the world's most trafficked mammals that's at risk of vanishing forever. The Planet Wild team rescued, rehabilitated and then released pangolins back into their natural habitat. If you're among the first 200 people to sign up with my QR code, code or link, I'll pay your first month. And don't worry that you'll get stuck with them, you can cancel your membership at any time. Thanks for watching. See you tomorrow.